A day after police in Malaysia paraded alleged Mossad agents suspected of planning to kidnap a Hamas operative, new details have emerged about the scope of Israel's spy agency's activity in the Asian country. Local media reported on Wednesday that the Mossad is currently tracking at least six Palestinians living in Malaysia. Some of them are academics and lecturers at local universities, including in the field of engineering. The New Straits Times newspaper, citing Middle Eastern intelligence officials, added that the Mossad's goal is to eliminate Hamas agents sent to Malaysia to gather technical knowledge and weapons. On Tuesday, the New Straits Times reported that a local cell of 18 men and women was recruited last month by the Mossad to kidnap two targets believed to belong to Hamas's military wing. The cell managed to snatch just one of the targets and took him bound and blindfolded to a resort hotel outside the capital Kuala Lumpur, where he was tortured. But within 24 hours, local police managed to track down the cell in an operation dubbed Operation Scorpion and release the Palestinian man as he was reportedly being interrogated via video chat by two Israelis. Naturally, the Mossad has declined to comment on these reports, but this wouldn't be the spy agency's first anti-Hamas operation in Malaysia. Back in 2018, unknown gunmen shot and killed Fadi El Bach, a rocket-making expert in Kuala Lumpur. We hold the occupation responsible for the killing of Fadi and this criminal act which the occupation is used to committing. We say today to the occupation so everyone can hear that the debt between you and us is getting heavy and the day of punishment is coming. If this week's reports are indeed true, it would appear that the worldwide war between Israel and Hamas continues, reaching the far corners of the globe.